I, I was, my eyes were caught by this USA Today headline uh, that, that, that talks about uh, Russia doesn't rate in Trump country. That's certainly something that you are hearing from uh, a lot of members that people aren't really focused on that yet. That makes an awful lot of sense. They've got to be worried about whether they're going to be losing their health care, worried about you know whether they're going to have to take a second or third job. Uh, obviously, a lot of different concerns there, but obviously, that's how it was. And during Watergate, uh, people shouldn't be sitting here worrying about what what Mueller's doing right now. They're worrying about what you know their own family and whether they can make ends meet. But that said. The pace on the Russian probe is quickening in such a way that I think people will be focused and on it And the questions are some time. very real. We want to get to yeah. Shane's new reporting in the Wall Street Journal uh, that U.S. intelligence agencies detected Russian officials discussing people with ties to Donald Trump months before he officially declared his candidacy. The report cites current and former U.S. officials who say that investigators are re-examining what was picked up in the spring of 2015 in light of Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer last year. Quote, in some cases, the Russians in the overheard conversations talked about meetings held outside the U.S. involving Russian government officials and Trump business associates or advisors. Russian officials are routinely monitored by U.S. intelligence, and it wouldn't be unusual for them to discuss people who have business interests in Russia, as Trump did with the 2013 Miss Universe pageant. But the volume of the mentions of Trump associates by the Russians did have officials asking each other, what's going on, one former official said. Shane, uh, so the, the timeline moves back. Right. Before the campaign, even before the campaign, some concerns in the intel community about all of the contacts uh, between the Trump organization, Trump, that, that's and Russia. Right. You put yourself kind of back in that time frame. Donald Trump hasn't announced. He's flirting with it. We know nothing of Russian meddling in the election. And intelligence officials are seeing this stuff come across the transom of these mentions and allusions to meetings. And at the time, it's vague and it's a little unclear exactly why this is significant. But it is that volume that they're picking it up so much it's making everyone pause and look at each other and say, "What do we make of this?" It's not till we get months down the road and the, the picture starts to become clearer that in hindsight that information starts to look potentially more significant and and the the contact uh, any any word on on who exactly was 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 part of the contact yeah we're still Russians? digging into some of that but the, our understanding is that it was people who were advisors and people close to Donald Trump so we don't know precise names at this point but we're looking at that so you're also looking at uh, Russian money in the right. election going back to the spring of 2016 tell us what you know yeah this is a really important piece in the timeline I think that's going to need more attention in the spring of 2016 it's our understanding that European officials are picking up signs from their own intelligence gathering efforts that Russian money is flowing into our elections process. It's not clear if that's money that's going to a candidate, if it's being spent on behalf, but it's significant enough that U.S. officials pick up on this as well and they are briefed in this spring 2016 time frame that the money flows may be an issue here as well. Now that also is important because that predates our public understanding that the DNC was hacked. Right. So now you're seeing kind of this influence campaign maybe having roots in some money flowing in the spring of 2016 as well. well. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.